if your website homepage is listing your blogs like this and you want to customize your homepage design using drag and drop like this. Also, everything is free. And at the end of this video, I'll show you a free tool to keep your site super fast with a 90 plus score on Google PageSpeed. Okay, first I'll show you how to create a separate blog page for your website. Here I am in my WordPress admin. Go to pages and create a new page called blog feed. Don't worry, you can change the name later if you want. If you open this new page, it will be blank. Later, I'll show you how to add different types of grids on it for free. But first, let's come back. Now we have to turn this blog feed page into a default page. So our blog show up here instead of our home page. So go to settings, then reading. And here you'll find your home page display setting. By default, it's set to your latest posts, meaning all your posts are displayed on your home page. Change this by selecting a static page. This will open up two options, home page and posts page. Set the home page to home and posts page to the blog feed page we created earlier. Scroll down to adjust other settings like how many posts will show up, which I've chosen as 20. Here, select include excerpt instead of full text, then hit save changes. Now let's go back to pages. And here you'll see that WordPress is highlighting which page is the home page and which is the blog page. If I click on my blog page, I can now see all the different blogs have moved here while the home page is blank now. Now you can use the default editor to create your design, but that can be complicated and take time. But what if you could get a really well-designed template here for free and then edit it using drag and drop like this? Also, everything is free. Click here to come back to your WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins, add new, then search for Elementor. This is the most popular free page builder plugin. Install it, then activate it. Now come back to your pages and open your homepage. Select edit with Elementor. Now we're in editing mode where we can design our homepage. By default, we are only able to add content to this area. So go here and click settings. And in the page layout, choose Elementor full width. Now the usable area has expanded and you can use the full width of your page. Now this panel has widgets, which you can drag into your site like this. So I can add a text block, then click and type the text I want like this. All the building blocks on our site are here, but it takes a lot of effort to build a site from scratch even here. So to get an aesthetic homepage quickly, we'll now add a homepage template. Click on this icon to open the templates library, then click pages. Use search to locate a specific template for your industry. So I'll search for a restaurant homepage. Here you can use different filters to find the templates quickly. I'll pick this one for now and click here to insert it. As you can see, my homepage looks quite good now. I can click on any section I want to change, then change the text or drag and drop new widgets and do other customizations. But what if I want to remove a section? I can go here, then click on this X icon to delete that section. To add a new section, I can go here, click on this plus icon. Now to add a new block, I'll click here, then from the top select blocks. These are pre-designed sections with widgets and layouts. You can search for different blocks, like I'll search for testimonials here. Then I'll select a block and insert it. Now you can see it's been added and I can make any changes to it, like clicking here to change text. Next, I'll show you how to add different types of grids like this to your blog page. For this, we'll need another free plugin. So search for a plugin called PostGrid. Install and activate it. Now when you open the plugin, you'll see this red notice here to improve performance by choosing a resource load type. Basically, if you're using Elementor, then go to this drop down here, select Elementor only, then click Save Changes. Now, everything is good, and let's go to Pages, then open our blog page. Now, let's click Edit with Elementor. Now, we can find the Post Grid widget here, click on it, then select the grid layout that you want. So, I'll pick this one, and then click Update. Now, as you can see, it neatly arranged all of our blog posts in a grid. For the section title, I'll just type recent blogs here. Now you can edit how this grid looks by changing layout types or column numbers. Let's say I choose this layout and number of columns. This is looking good so far, right? Now let's add a featured section for our latest blog. Let's create a new post grid, but this time limit the number of posts to show just one post. Change the column layout to one. Under the query builder for the offset, we limit it to one. Now you can see one big featured post on top and other blogs appear under it. Let's change the title to featured post. 
here we can change the title to previous blogs but we don't want the same blog to show up twice so in the query builder for the offset i'll set this to one so it skips the first post and now you can see that the repetition is gone also come here and make sure that the link target is the same window any WordPress website has these essential needs to function properly. I'm going to share the best free options for each requirement now. I'll also add links for all the plugins I talk about below. A website speed plugin is crucial because inevitably your website will slow down over time. Airlift is the best free option because it's not complicated, where you just need to add your URL and it will triple your site speed instantly, no conditions applied. We need backups because there's many reasons why your website can lose data or get deleted. You might see that your web host offers backups like Bluehost is offering those here, but these are very unreliable. For a free option, Updraft Plus is a solid choice. It's user-friendly and offers scheduled backups, so you don't have to remember to do it manually. However, a backup is only good if, when in trouble, you can use it to restore your site. Updraft Plus backups often only restore partly or sometimes not at all. So there is a risk that if you go with a free option. To get a 100% guarantee that your full site will be restored every time from its backups, you should use our paid plugin block one because it gives unlimited storage and makes multiple copies of your backups to make sure that you always get a full restore. Moving on to security, the most popular ones are iThemes and Sukuri, but both have a lot of flaws. Malcare is the best free option because it offers many premium features for no cost. If you ever get hacked, you can pay to upgrade your plan and you'll get one click malware removal as well as enhanced security. Next, let's talk about SEO. RankMath's free version is great for beginners. It guides you through the process of optimizing your site for SEO and also has an AI content assistant that gives you real-time suggestions to improve your content's SEO. Once you're ready to pay for more features, try Ahrefs. We use it as well and it's got many powerful features. Then you need a good email plugin for anyone interacting with your site, whether they fill a contact form, try products or whatever else. MailPoet is a great free plugin. It offers drag and drop email builder, automated emails and even analytics. So you can see how your emails are performing. Here's another video I thought you'd like.